So after reading up on multiple reputable blog sites, it's become apparent that New Balance is deciding to discontinue one of its most popular silhouettes, the New Balance 992. Now, in my opinion, I feel like that is a very detrimental decision on the part of New Balance to discontinue this silhouette while it's at an all time high, whether it be general release colorways or collaborations by way of Todd Snyder, Jound, or Amy Leondor, the love for the 992 model is definitely there. I don't know why they're deciding to do this, but all we can do in the meantime is continue to buy up all the general release colorways that we see on the market right now and in today's video we are reviewing the new balance 992 in this yellow and beige colorway All right, everyone, so welcome back in. I hope all of you are doing well and having a blessed day out there. If this is your first time stumbling upon my channel, my name is Chris Young, and thank you guys for taking a chance on my channel. It really means a lot to me. Or if you're one of my returning subscribers, thank you for your loyalty. It does not go unnoticed. So I pretty much wanna cover why I was gone for a full month from YouTube, and I just pretty much got hit with the Rona, guys. So I have a testimony. This Rona is no joke, it's no hoax. It knocked me out for a full month, and it just really made me feel like a shell of myself but by the grace of God I am back in front of the camera today to deliver you guys a review on a very nice New Balance 992 so if you guys enjoy what you see today please be sure to leave me a thumbs up comment your opinion on this colorway down below in the comments section and consider subscribing to the channel because the next big goal is 4,000 subscribers and with the help of all of you we can easily aim high for that goal and I think we can hit it in a very short period of time so without further ado let's go ahead and dive right into these sneakers guys as always guys let's go ahead and cover the box so the box that the new balance 992 comes in is this very simple made in usa new balance box done in gray we have our made wording on the lid of the box done in white along with this usa flag graphic on the lid as well and then turning the box over to the front our sizing tag does read m 992 ab that is the style code for this particular colorway and i do want to reiterate that there is no particular release date for this sneaker they've kind of just been trickling on the websites over the last couple of weeks but if you are interested in picking up this colorway they are available on New Balance's website right now so I will be sure to leave a direct link to New Balance if you want to purchase this sneaker directly after today's video. And with all of the basic information out of the way on the New Balance 992 let's go ahead and get into the infinite details that this 992 colorway has to offer for us. Getting things started on the toe box of this sneaker, you can see it is comprised of this mint green Supima cotton, and wrapping around the outer edge of this sneaker, we have this thick cut of suede which is done in this North Carolina Tar Heels color. Overlaid on top of our mint green Supima cotton and providing a nice bit of flair to this colorway, we do have this reflective 3M material. Progressing up this sneaker, it does feature a yellow Supima cotton tongue, but at the very top of the tongue, we do get this thick strip of leather, which is done in this 3M reflective fashion. At the very top of this leather, we have New Balance branding, which is done in white stitched in, but we also have this oval cutout, which reveals 992 branding done in white in this rose pink color. This shoe does come equipped with standard white laces, and once we make our way to the mid panels of this sneaker, you can see they continue to put more of that great suede on here. We have this yellow suede, but overlaid on top. We have our New Balance N logo done in this rose pink color, but also outlined in this white embroidery. Continuing on to the heel of this sneaker, we get more of that Supima cotton, which is done in this baby blue color, but it is partially covered by this 3M reflective material, which features 992 branding done in this Volt color. And concluding with the details of the upper, the back is comprised of this very high quality suede which is done in beige. We also have this oval cutout which reveals our USA branding done in white alongside this faint pink color in between. And then at the very bottom of our heel, we have this heel clip which is done in this translucent fashion. But we also have our New Balance branding done in this teal color as well. 
The midsole of the 992 is constructed out of this Absorb technology, which is very comfortable for long hours of wear. But on this particular colorway, the primary midsole part is done in this muted mauve color. But on the secondary part of the midsole, they did opt to go with very simple white, which looks very nice on this sneaker. And finishing out this sneaker on the very bottom, it does feature this beige endurance technology outsole. We also have our New Balance branding in the center, which is done in this teal color. And alongside of this, we have this traction pod, which reveals our 992 branding done in bold and yellow. The sizing of the New Balance 992 is fairly consistent among general release or collaboration pairs, so if you have narrow feet, I would definitely recommend going down half a size so you can avoid that heel slippage, but if you have wide feet, you could probably get away with going true to size, and as far as the comfort goes on the 992, in my opinion, it's one of the most comfortable New Balance sneakers in their entire lineage. I could definitely wear this sneaker for many hours out of the day and not experience any type of excruciating pain, so shout out to New Balance for creating such a great sneaker back in 2006 and I look forward to adding so many more colorways of this sneaker before the inevitable discontinuation happens but other than that I'm very glad to add these to the personal collection so let's go ahead and wrap up today's video guys. Alright guys, so this pretty much concludes my review of the New Balance 992 in this yellow and beige colorway. Let me know what you guys think about this sneaker down below in the comments section. Me personally, as soon as I saw official images leak of these, I knew that I would have to have these in my personal collection because I love uh, vibrant colors on sneakers so much. And in my opinion, New Balance may have teased this colorway a bit too soon because I feel like these could have easily passed as an Easter colorway and you know, the fact that I have these probably two months away from Easter. These are definitely going to be my selection on uh, Resurrection Sunday. So I'm very, very glad that I was able to add these to the arsenal. And the 992, I keep saying it, but it's definitely one of the best best sneakers in New Balance's entire lineage. So if you guys are able to pick a pair up for retail before they go away, I would definitely advise you to do so. So thank you guys again for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to leave me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel because we have a lot more content in store. The goal is 4,000 subscribers in due time and with the help of all of you, we can definitely make that come into fruition. So without further ado, it's time to go ahead and throw these on foot. Stay safe, stay blessed, and I will see you guys on the next video.